Yes. So we just got delivery of our new build. We wouldn't want to know what it is. Welcome back to another episode of We Rebuilds. Hey, I know it's been a while. I've been dropping a whole bunch of YouTube shorts. But anyways, let's hop straight into this video because now we're going to look at the new build that we have. So anyways, like, share, subscribe, drop your comments and thoughts down below. Turn your post notifications on. Check us out on all social media links. That's TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or X. Hey, but let's hop straight into this video. We're gonna review or maybe talk about this new build that we have. So anyways, share to everybody. Your mom, your dad, your cousins, your aunties, your best friends. Hey, but anyways, let's hop straight into this one. Let's go. So we finally got this car inside of the garage. So this is a, a 2021 Ford Escape. So we're gonna talk about all the damage that we have on here. So let's start with the good side first. Well, not really the good side, but I'm gonna start right here where you know we have a little bit of damage on this fender right here. I'll probably change it. But as you can see down here, that this piece is damaged. So we're gonna have to probably get and maybe new rims because i want to say this looks like a huge slice in it or something but i mean everything else looks pretty good so far i mean this wheel has a this rim has another dent in it but this one looks way worse but i mean it still has air in it so that's a good thing so I walk around see that there's you know damage on the door and we need to give this a wash so we're probably gonna do that later on in this video so you can see how it's looking so, and you guys could not believe what the price that i get this got this car for so as you can see there's not really much body damage on the back side of this car i mean everything is nice so now we're here so it, it's a little damage right here i don't know if y'all could see that on the fender right here but it's a little, little dent right here there's another one up here so probably that's from this hood getting pushed back into the fender so this plastic trim piece is still good and this rim didn't take any damage so which and that's good um but as you can see right here the headlight headlight tabs have been broken there's no coolant in this car. So that's another thing. I mean, I got the, um, these right here. So those are some connectors that's connected to, um, this is a connector for the headlight, some connectors right here. But I mean, this probably go to all this stuff, that radiator assembly that's bent. And so this is the, the most of the impact that the car, the car has gotten. So, I mean, it's bad, but it's also not as bad. I mean, the one only thing I, I'm kind of worried about was the frame, and, and it doesn't really look like the frame was bent at all. So, but we still have to make sure we take that out to our frame guy and then make sure everything is square properly because even though it might not look that way, it still probably have been tweaked a little bit. Um, this is the hood. Hood did, did get some damage. So the hood did get some damage. So, you know, we have to get a new hood, uh, maybe a fender on this side, bumper reinforcement bar, um, all the radiator supports, um, system pieces. Uh, so that's, that's everything. Um, you can see that we have a whole bunch of plastic pieces right here that's pretty pretty messed up so i don't want to really pull this too hard because that's holding the but as you can see we have a whole bunch of plastic piece that is uh kind of broken now let's let's check out the inside of this car so as you can see in here we have this side it's not too bad you can see that we did um have a knee airbag blown they said there was no airbag blown but hey that's fine we have a seat belt that's locked up right here so this driver's side so hopefully we just have to change the seat belt 
we might have to change the actuator in this um, buckle. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, look at it, it's pretty nice. We did get some, some oil. So I don't know if that's bad oil or that's oil out of the engine, I don't know. So we could probably check to see what, these are some of the pieces that came off the airbag, the knee airbag. Oh, and we do have some parts. So let's check that out. So first thing I'm gonna do is put some power to this car. I want to see if I can put some power to this car. I'm gonna show you how much miles this car has. Cause you know, have to get that done. I doubt this car is gonna run. So, and the battery is probably gonna need to be charged. So we do have some power. So see, that's some power because you got the cold thing on the door. Just kind of waiting for this camera to focus a little bit. So the key, I have the key inside of the house. But you can see we have 9,200 and something miles. So that's not a whole bunch of miles. So let me see if I could pull the back. Let me see if I could find that button. So, so I think the back is already open. Let's see. So, I mean, this is the back. Not, it's kind of a little dirty and all so we did get the spare tire I want to say that we got the rim so I set that off to the side so I want to say we got the rim and the jack underneath so which in that's good so far that we have those stuff uh, I don't know where this came from, but it was right here. So we have that, we'll figure where that goes later on. So now what we have inside, we have a whole bunch of parts. So I'm about to take all of this out and then see all the parts that we have. And then we go from there, let's go. This is a big bag of parts. And at least they gave us back all our parts. So that's good. Uh, as you can see in the back, I mean, the seats do look nice. Looks like they really haven't really been broken into as yet, though. So, I mean, it's pretty nice. A little nice car to have so I'll just probably like give it a little clean because as you can see the car is dirty which in that's what I should have that I should have cleaned it before I put it in the garage but I mean yeah these are the bottle of, bottles of oil that I that came in it so nothing really came with the car so basically everything is empty. So uh, I don't really know much, but yeah, that's pretty much it. As you can see. So I mean, that's it. The windshield is not broken, so that's a, a plus. So the only mostly things I got to worry about is everything that got pushed back to here. So what I probably need to do is just have everything disconnected and move up so we could see how far the damage goes and see if this engine can run. 
um, as I said before I have the keys inside but before I go get the keys let's just hop and see what's inside of this parts bag this parts bag is kind of pretty heavy. Ah, uh, so guess what? We have one headlight. It's broken right here, but I mean, and the other tab is broken. So we do have to probably either fix this. I mean, I don't really think I need to get a new one because if I get a new one, I'll probably have to spend more money. But we'll, we'll see. This car is actually a clean title as well. So this is one headlight, so that's a plus right there. Uh. We do have pieces of the bumper. broken so the bumper is all bent up and broken and maybe this bumper could have been saved also because you know if they never had bent it we could have like plastic rolled these pieces and then you know try to fix it and make it repairable versus have to buy a, buy a new one i don't know i think it's pretty gone now worse it that's been an, i couldn't tell you how long it has been sitting at the auction have our other broken pieces so these are other broken pieces that came off the car and guess what we have our other headlight so these there's pieces floating around this one same thing again broken tabs right here right there and right here so what i'm gonna try to do i'm gonna try to plug up these turn the car on see if it starts and then we go from there let's go all right so i have the key right here i end up getting two keys so that's good that's a plus so let me just put these headlights on and then once i put these headlights on see if it should start and then make sure these headlights work So now we're about to turn this jumper back on. Okay, we got some lights. So we got a light right there. And we have one right there. So before we do anything, let's check the oil to see if 
I mean, even though it's not ideal, but I just want to make sure you still have a little bit of oil in this car. We do have oil in there. So I wonder where they had that, a bottle of oil, why they had that extra bottles of oil in there. But anyways, let's try to start it and see what happens. Or see if it will start anyways, and I don't think it will. No, it won't start. Nope, it won't start. So we have all these fault codes coming up. You can hear that it's trying to start, but it's, it's not starting. So that could, could either be from the battery too low or something. But I mean, it's not starting at least. Let me see if these headlights work. Uh, I don't think they're working either. See if I have a, have a little bit of light in the front. So yeah, still getting a little bit of light out of them. I'm gonna see if I can put them on bright. Yeah, and they do get brighter. So this one, the bright actually works on that one. This one, it does not. So. I mean, but then for this side, I probably have to get a new headlight because as you can see, all the cracks and the broken pieces in, in here, see, see we're coming out. So, I mean, that's pretty much it for this car so far that we have find out, found out. And these are all the parts. So at least we got most of the parts back from them. So what I'm gonna either try to do is so what I'm gonna either try to do is start putting together a parts list, um, see what I have, try to charge the battery some more. If I charge the battery, hopefully I could get a start out of this thing. Um, this is a newer Ford Escape, so I really don't know what's the 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 things that could take go on with this engine. So I mean, it may be a plus side, it may be a bad side. I don't know. But I mean, you already know that we worked on Ford Escape before on this channel. We did um, the 2013 Ford Escape. So now, I mean, this is a 2021 with only 9,000 miles, 9,200 9, miles. So that's, that's a, a, a steal already, plus a clean title. And the price that I paid for this car is $3,900. I end up winning the bid for 38. Um, State Farm wanted $6,000. I told them, hey, I'll give them 39. They ended up giving me the car for 39. But I ended up paying to ship it to me. So it still worked out to $6,000 in total. So, I mean, if you ask me, that's a steal. And for a clean title, hey, we could probably flip this car in no time. So uh, now we're just gonna have to dig heavy into this car. See all of the, the things that needs to be done. So what we're about to do for the next episode, we're gonna give this car a wash, get it cleaned up, start taking some parts off, because once we start taking some parts off, we'll know what we need to order. And then once we order some parts, have the parts come in, put it back together. Hey, and maybe we could do a quick flip, or maybe we could keep it for a while and drive it around and, and see how, if it's way better than in 2013. I mean, the 2013, we had a lot of ups and downs with it um, for small things. So I'm pretty confident in this build, we should be able to get most of this stuff done. Um, as you can see, you already know we have most of the front stuff damaged. As the, the computer on the car was saying that the, the front camera and all that, I don't know if because the seat belt has been blown that that's maybe also another reason why it's not working or it's not starting because i don't know if this car has a pyro fuels because you know i'm used to german cars where 
I have the Audi and the BMW, and I know, hey, it's definitely a power of fuse. So I don't know if now Ford steps, stepped up their game where they're using power of fuse also as well. But anyways, like, share, subscribe, turn your post notifications on. Check us out on Instagram. Check us out on all social media links, TikTok, Instagram, X, hey, everything. Hey, and don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Hey, but until next time, stay positive. Stay motivated, and guess what? We're going to get this car done. I'll see you on the next one.